own past that we asked questions. We'll start with Corey. Um, Alexander, just what was this experience like tonight after the past couple days? Super fun. Um, I tried to imagine that feeling winning, winning uh, the first game of the series for us and uh, trust, trust the game and uh, enjoy the atmosphere and, and try, try to approach it as a new game definitely after the last one. Jesse. Josh, you told us yesterday you know, that you felt you had a pretty good game one but you made some mistakes that you need to get back to your defense and offensive come from there. I imagine a break right out of the box isn't exactly what you meant, but how good did that one feel? Yeah, that felt good. I mean, first of all, glory to God. I mean, that was, uh, I don't get those often. I mean, um, and just to be able to, to put it away, I mean, that, that was nice. It was obviously not my best effort game one uh, defensively. So um, I wanted to focus on that. And, and those things happen sometimes like that. Uh, so it was nice. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, Josh, what was it like to see Zach Parise score that timely goal? And, and what kind of impact has he had on your club since joining? Well, he's got that veteran presence, right? And he's been around for a long time. And he, the way he takes care of himself off the ice, first of all, um, professional. And you realize why he's been around for so long. And then when he comes on the ice, he's just a smart player, um, knows how to get around, knows how to, to go to the right areas. And you look at, like, the game get t gets tougher, and he ends up scoring a goal. So that's just the kind of player he is and um, shows the, uh, the veteran presence that he's had and why he's been in the league for so long. Kyle and Evan. Alex, just hoping you could take us through your game tonight after Winnipeg scored that early goal. What is sort of your mindset from that point, and, and how did things play out from there? Um, I felt uh, I felt I played pretty good in that moment. Uh, and, uh, the puck was going to my right side, and he gets a rebound to the left, and then it bounces back to the right, kind of tough, tough position. And I tried to just, uh, uh, it's a long game, reset, uh, keep, keep to my game plan, and um, trust trust the process. Evan and Tracy. Josh, I think Caleb Jones played five games over the last three months of the regular season, but he's consistently working hard in practice and staying ready. What can you say about a teammate like that who doesn't get a ton of opportunities, but when the playoff comes, the playoffs come around, he's ready to go? Yeah, I mean, that's that's a really hard thing to do, right? Keep yourself mentally um, sharp the way he has. Um, it was a long season of, you know, not, not many games, um, but being around, continuing the work. So uh, for him to step into the lineup and you know, arguably one of the toughest, toughest situations. You know, playoffs where the speed's higher, a lot higher, um, and for him to uh, to to be able to fill minutes and play well and be solid for us. I mean, it's it, big credit to him. It's tough to do. Tracy, then Sean. <clears throat> for you, just how critical has Archery left in bed, and how clutch does he continue to prove to be for you guys? No, I mean he's just he's a warrior. That guy. We all know. We all call him that. Um, Goes the hard areas, um, plays that tough, tough style game. Four checks hard, block shots. Um, you know, goes like goes the hard areas. Does exactly what we need to do in playoffs. And I think that's why you see all the success he's had in the playoffs because it's just his game flourishes. Go ahead, Sean. Josh, people look at the shot clock in the third and maybe not get an idea of you know, how good you guys were taking it and tying it up in the offensive zone and, and shutting it down. Uh, give me an idea how a team that's known for more for its offense. Kind of struck that perfect balance and shutting that third period down. Well, I think we have confidence in our, our defensive structure. It's just we haven't been able, you know, we haven't showed it as much as we as what we should have. You know, little little mistakes, whatever it may be. Um, so, you know, we we focus on on what. The, per, the plan was coming into the game, and I think we just executed well. I mean, I don't want to say everything that we were doing, but um, I just felt like, you know, forwards were getting in lanes, blocking shots at the end in the third period. I felt like there was more block shots, um, sacrificing, you know, the body a little bit more and, and getting that desperation. I think that's what it comes down to uh, in the D zone. Sometimes you got to get desperate. Jesse, then Ken. Alex, uh, it seemed like after the game, there was maybe a couple extra taps on the pads. And what can you say about your teammates over these last couple of days in this game here Yeah, they've shown so much support to me over the last couple of days. Uh, very rough first game, obviously, and uh, I just felt so much trust in the room uh, from everybody. Uh, I appreciate it so much. Helped me uh, reset and know that uh, they got my back. Uh, I, I know I'll, I'll help them out as well during this playoff. Uh, it was huge, huge uh, from them. Appreciate it. And Josh, how was your team able to draw on that resilience? It's sort of been a foundation piece for you guys over the years here. Yeah, I mean, I think when you come into the playoffs, you have to be resilient, right? Things There's going to be roller coasters, ups and downs. And um, coming in, you know, with that win in 22, 
Uh, that was a big focus of ours, was not letting frustration set in, whatever it may be, just being that resilient, callous brain where you just keep pushing forward and sticking to your game plan and, and the results will come. And I think we have a few guys in our room, you know, obviously that have been there. we got more guys that have been in the same situation on other teams in the playoffs. So um, it's something that we know we have, that, that resiliency and how important it is in the playoffs. we got guys that, that uh, they know how to do it. It's good. And last two, Evan, then Kyle. Alex, the crowd here is intense and it's loud. Are you the type of guy who can block that out or do you try to feed off of that energy? I try to enjoy it. Uh, I've, I've seen, uh, seen the atmosphere here before on YouTube. Uh, you know, it's one of the more fun buildings probably in the playoffs. Uh, the way they uh, come together and, and the, the whole crowd is wide. Super fun, even though I, I don't really focus on them, but you feel the energy, you feel the atmosphere, you feel how important it is uh, and how much fun uh, those games are. Wow. Alex, you mentioned that you visualize what it would be like to have that feeling to win the first game in this series. Did you do anything else to sort of just get your head clear coming into tonight? Um, yeah, a little, little different routine. A uh, little, little less shots in the, in the morning skate. Tried to save the energy and uh, save the, the focus for the evening, I would say. and uh, Just get into the positive mindset. Uh, like I said, the guys helped me out so much in that. Uh, just a lot of support overall in the room for everybody. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. I've got to say happy birthday to my four-year-old at home. I know she's sleeping. Oh. <laughs> really blocking a lot of shots. And when they were getting shots through, Georgie was seeing them. So uh, I thought in our end, um, especially in the third, we did a really good job. I know you haven't spent a ton of time as a teammate of Archer looking in, but uh, you know, just how, how clutch is he uh, You know, at times just finding the points necessary. Yeah, unreal. Um, really, uh, he just finds himself in good spots all over the ice. Um, he's a really easy guy to play with, uh, just a really smart hockey player, and so it's not surprising. He's going to be in those good positions to get the big goals, but he always seems to come through um, when when the team needs it. He's a, he's a head coach player. Is it fair to say this is, this is why he came back? Like the, the feeling you have right now. Yeah, yeah. Right. this is fun. This is this is this is what it's all about. And so um, we're uh, we we did what we needed to do. You come on the road and okay. we won a game, and now um, it should be a, a fun atmosphere back at our rink and uh, and look forward to game three. Sorry, if you're recording. You know, got asked. It was just that you know, the feeling, like you were just saying, you came back to do this. Feeling kind of going through when you score that goal. It was, it was awesome. Okay. Um, again, you. Uh, you try to contribute any way that you can. It's not always on the score sheet, but um, when it is, it you know, feels great. Um, and, and again, we, we, we've been getting good contributions up and down the lineup in, in the first two games, and um, that's that's really important this time of year. When you're moving throughout the lineup in game, what is the key to those adjustments that you have to make on the fly? Honestly, really try not to change too much. Um, Sometimes it's a little different when you go bounce from left wing to right wing. Um, but some, when you play with Nate, it's, it's a different game. It's uh, There's a lot of good rush chances. He's, he's able to push the defenseman back, um, so you have a little more you know, more entries. Um, but then sometimes it's chip and chase and forecheck, and you just do whatever's asked. It doesn't really matter. Was there ever a moment before arriving here when you you know, wondered if you'd even be playing the playoffs this year or at all this season? Um, no, because um, I knew when it came down to it that I wanted to go to the playoff team. And I think at that time of the years, you had a good idea who was going to make it and who wasn't. So um, that you try to make the best decision who's going to be there. Um, so I, I knew one way or another I was hopefully going to be in the playoffs. There could have been a huge momentum shift in that second period with the power play and then they score right after. What is a veteran bench like this like after a moment like that? Oh, you're really calm. Um, you can tell it's uh, a very experienced group uh, of players that have, that have done it before. And, um, there was no... We weren't shaken. I mean, it, it was a tough break. I, I mean, it went from you know four minute power play to us getting a, a grade A chance to them scoring. It was pretty. It was a roller coaster, but um, there wasn't. 
we liked how we were playing, so it wasn't anything that we felt like we needed to adjust or change. Last ones, guys. Good. Thank you. Thanks. 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 For that, to, to be in the right place, right time, and, and just be able to get some of those clutch points. Like yeah, I wouldn't say it's right place, right time. He, he understands where he needs to be and what's you know expected of him in, in that group and, and who he's playing with. Um, you know, he's able to find soft points and coverage, and he's got a great stick. He's able to deflect so many pucks, and he works on it, so he's, he works so hard on it. And uh, it's, yeah, it's anytime as D, we see him with you know, even half his stick available to shoot out, we shoot at it because most of the time he gets it. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to bringing the series back to Denver for Game Stream 4? Oh, being home is nice. Um, you know, our fans are great. You know, you see the energy in this building, it was awesome. Uh, you know, this, the crowd really brought it here. It was a lot of fun to play in front of. Uh, they, were, they were passionate, that's what you want out of a, you know, road building and, and a home fan base. And so, you know, kudos to them for bringing the one game too. But, uh, we need our, you know, Denver faithful to, to bring their best, you know, their loudest for us. So uh, we love playing in front of our building. Hopefully we can uh, bring them a couple wins. There's a lot of reasons to be motivated this time of year, but you guys rally around a guy like Zach Parise who came out of retirement essentially to try to win a cup? Yeah, uh, you know, he's a guy we targeted. We like his game. We think it fits how we play. And, and to be able to come in and, and be an impact player for us and, and move up and down the lineup, it's not easy to go, you know, through the lineup and play with different guys all the time, but he's able to do it. He's, he's got such a, a knack for finding soft areas, a lot like Arturi does, and, and just being hard on pucks and his nose over his stick and, and strong. So, uh, to see him get one time was awesome. Thanks, Thanks. Fun. Thanks. Out of that game one, but tonight to get the victory here, to have it a little bit tighter, more stingy, what did you like about this game two victory? Yeah, it was great. I thought we followed up on what we did in game one. Uh, you know, not as many big breakdowns, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Georgie was great. Um, you know, I thought uh, every line contributed. Everyone, every line did contribute, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, fun game. How valuable has your strong forecheck been on, you know, throwing the Jets off their game, really forcing them to make mistakes? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the way we're built. Uh, big, fast, uh, heavy forwards. So, uh, you know, it's our job to try to disrupt pucks. And uh, so far, it's been good. For this group, knowing how strong you've been on home ice this season to get the split on the road, how much extra confidence does it give you now knowing you're heading home? Yeah, uh, it does. But, I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, the road is fun in the playoffs, too. It, it's fun to steal some games and less pressure. So, you know, we need to... Uh, use the crowd as energy, but you know, still really focus on our game plan and, and, and continue to execute. Did, you, did you feel like you made the job easier for Georgiev tonight? And just how impressed are you with the way that he bounced back from the board? Yeah, I don't know if we made it easier or not, but he played great. Uh, he was awesome. Uh, you know, our goal is to be really good defensively every night. Um, you know, and uh, definitely better tonight for sure. How pleased are you guys with the resilience you showed, not just from game one to game two, but after uh, a first period where Winnipeg had a lot of pressure on you? Yeah, I thought we outplayed them in the first, uh, you know, shot 16 12 us. Uh, we had a lot of good chances. So, um, but yeah, they're up one, I guess, but we definitely uh, had a great second and third. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Nate. Cool.